RS1 chip recreates the microenvironment of an organ using living human cells. It can be used to emulate a number of different organs and disease states, providing a real-time window into the inner workings of human biology. The chip features two fluidic channels that form the necessary architecture for building tissue-to-tissue -tissue interfaces. It's made from a flexible polymer that's both stretchable and durable. Its transparency allows researchers to observe real-time cellular behavior inside the chip's fluidic channels. The top channel is one millimeter wide by one millimeter tall. The bottom channel is one millimeter wide by two tenths of a millimeter tall. The channels are separated by a thin, porous, stretchable membrane that allows for cellular communication between the two channels. It's coated with extracellular matrix proteins, promoting cell attachment and assembly. Different cell types can be seeded into the top and bottom channels. Mechanical forces can be applied to the chip, allowing cells to experience forces similar to breathing or peristalsis. These can be critical determinants of cellular function, cell signaling, and gene expression. Both channels can be configured to flow media, blood, or air, and the biochemical environment the cells experience can be precisely controlled by providing nutrients and washing away waste. Immune cells can also be introduced into the chip, recreating mechanisms involved in the body's immune response. Our S1 chip is designed to help us predict how medicines, chemicals, and foods affect human health. It's one part of the human emulation system, which is allowing us to gain a deeper understanding of human biology.